What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another review and it's this week's What If episode, episode 6, What If Killmonger be Saved Tony Stark. Oh yeah. And you know what, there were some expectations going in because a lot of the word out there was that, you know, Killmonger is becoming uh, Black Panther. I did not see any of the TV spots for this particular one, so I didn't didn't know, I actually didn't see it like in images or so, but I was like, okay, they're going to go in and have a different take in Killmonger and, you know, kind of go that route and show him differently. Uh, unfortunately, I gotta say, I was pretty disappointed with this episode. And it's not the episode itself as in, like, what's happening. Uh, everything, like, works in terms of, like, the animation, the dialogue, you know, the bits of comedy here and there still work. Uh, they were able to replicate a lot of the Tony Stark mannerisms from the first Iron Man, which this is connected to. It's the what-if situation if that did not happen, if he did not get imprisoned. Uh, what would happen if Killmonger saved him? And a lot of that, it's still there, and it's actually great to see. The issue with it is the story itself and the way they handle a lot of it. Now, the episodes that worked, even the first episode that I did not like that much, I gave it like a 6 out of 10. If I like the fact that you know you actually see uh, Steve as Iron, Ma Iron Man, you see Peggy Carter as Captain America, it was like a totally different character arcs for them. And we actually saw something very different, not in the story sense of it, but in character-wise. Here, though, you don't get that. All the episodes we've seen, you know, take Doctor Strange, you see the different side of him and how it actually affects and different events that happen and how it all brought down the universe. You see T'Challa as Star-Lord, a completely different character and a completely different story. It's not like events and things that they took from movies be like, okay, we'll just make a new story out of something we've done before and just patch everything together. No, it was a completely new, different story. You see Thanos as a completely different character. Then all the other episodes, you know, the characters were different. The stories were different. Zombies, completely different take on the characters and on the story itself. It's a completely new thing. Here, though, it's literally scenes from Iron Man, scenes from Age of Ultron, and Black Panther jammed together and they made a story out of it. And you don't see something fresh. So Killmonger saves Tony Stark. Oh, that idea is great. But then in there is also a loophole where with the age of Killmonger, is the same age as he was in Black Panther. Now in Black Panther, T'Challa and you know, both of these kids are mo at the same age. Sure he is much older. Now in this episode, they actually went ahead and actually showed that Shuri is actually a younger version of Shuri. So makes sense because Iron Man happened a long time ago, that movie, that's what, 12, 13 years now? So it makes sense, but then when you put Killmonger and T'Challa at the same age as they were in Black Panther, but they're changing some of the other characters, actually. Then the whole timeline of it, it's like, okay, that whole event that ha probably happened in Black Panther with like, the basketball court and, you know, how Killmonger's story really started. Well, then what really happened then? Because you can't really connect now anymore because you have some of these age differences going on here and that don't make no sense. So... Going on from there, then you basically kind of get also like the same story. You're instead of someone else betraying Iron Man or so, you basically it's Killmonger. It you know, if you take like the first Iron Man movie and the second, I know they kind of put together, change the story a bit, and they take an aspect of the second Iron Man and aspect of the first, and they kind of mash it together, and there's this whole army gundam army if you want to uh, call it they actually put that in there it's a joke that tony makes and 
that's like the idea. Yes, there is a battle where Killmonger is basically doing his thing. He's manipulating the situation and he ends up getting the army, this Gundam army, into Wakanda. But he pretends that it's actually Americans attacking and he's actually going to defend. He's back home. He works for Wakanda. He's going to defend Wakanda because he's, yeah, he's all for Wakanda. Obviously, it's all fake. And he ends up defeating with all these other warriors. And that battle sequence is actually pretty, pretty amazing. Like the animation there, the whole action scene worked really, really well. That for me was actually the highlight of uh, the episode. And then you, you know, he goes through the process of becoming Black Panther. And you, he goes into that dream, the dream sequence that we saw in Black Panther. But instead here, instead of T'Challa, meeting his father here it's him meeting t'challa and t'challa actually gives him a really good line where it's like you got this power through doing wrong eventually it's gonna get to you and that's interesting and then you actually see him becoming black panther you know in the suit and then the episode ends and that's the problem with this episode is that it's something what i didn't like with the first one it's like it ends where you want to see what st actually starts happening you want to see that you want to see okay as black panther what actually ends up happening how does he affect the world and the events to come not the story that we kind of know before but instead instead of other characters it's him doing those things right that like the whole robots and the all different iron men uh the machines we saw an aspect of it in iron man 2 in iron man 1 we saw the betrayal and all but instead of you know, Obadiah, he's still there for a bit, but then the big reveal is that Killmonger is the one who orchestrated everything. So all in all, you don't come out of this episode satisfied because you don't feel like you actually saw something new. Even the Battle of Wakanda, even though it's cool and it's a highlight of the show, you've seen it before, right? In Black Panther. So... You, when you come out of it, you're like, okay, I've seen it and I've not seen something new. So the episode works. Everything is good. It's an enjoyable episode. But in terms of what they were able to do with the what if situation, all the episodes that we've seen so far, all the other ones, all five of them were able to do this what if story a whole lot better than this one. So for that reason, I give this one a five out of 10. It's perfectly okay to watch but not something special so what's your take on this one leave a comment below let me know and other than that i want to say thank you for watching thanks for all the support if you like these kind of reviews more casual there are a whole lot of others on the channel please go have a watch and yeah take it easy take care and i will catch you all soon until then ta-ta take care